All right, how we doing? I hope everybody's doing well after the weekend. Uh, we are entering week nine of eighth grade visual art. Um, we are currently in the week of May 3rd through the 7th. So we are going to, going to continue with what we were working on last week, and that was starting that landscape project. So hopefully everybody um, was able to do the pen activity and get that submitted for your 30 process points. Um, I hope that everybody completed their rough draft. That was a 30 to 45 minute sketch of the landscape project that we're currently starting. So the big thing is that you wanna make sure you pick a realistic reference. Um, you wanna pick a landscape that has a foreground, middle ground and background. Okay, which basically just means that there's something in the front, middle, and the back, um, and that'll be a good start for the project. Now, just like the animal eye, there is an option for you to use a template that is gonna help you map out your proportions and get the correct scale, which is the overall size of the picture, because sometimes it's a little challenging when you draw from a smaller image and you're trying to draw it bigger, or vice versa, where you have a big image and you're trying to draw it smaller. And that's, that's when you have a little bit of a challenge with scale. Well, if you use the template that I created and I have in this folder, um, that's going to help you get those things a little bit more figured out. Um, and it's overall only going to benefit you in the long run. So I hope everybody took a, um, took a look at that and had a chance to complete that. If you need help with that, um, feel free to reach out to me. I know sometimes the technology, some of your teachers do things a little bit differently. So um, if you need it, obviously come see me. The next thing is, if you look, and this is kind of smaller, but I try to put this throughout the weeks at a glance because I want you to visualize what the expectations are for this project. Sometimes your expectations are a little bit different than mine. Sometimes, um, and oftentimes, the students um, will think that the expectation is much more than what's expected from me. Um, and oftentimes, kids will have a lower expectation of what is actually expected. So. What I like to do is I like to put these links in here and this link will actually show you um, some of the previous students that did a really nice job on this project and it'll give you something to kind of shoot for um, so that you do a nice job as well. Okay, so now that it's Monday, you should have gone through the introduction to the project that was last Friday. Okay, you should have taken a look at the template. You should have your reference photo. If you drew your reference photo the first time with the rough draft and you realize this, this isn't really gonna be a good photograph for me, you can obviously change that. Um, you do not have to redo the rough draft. Um, I just wanted you to practice drawing a landscape because there are, there are different ways of looking at it um, and it is a little bit different of a process. So you will have work time on Monday. Um, today you will spend the entire 40 minutes continuing to work on your landscape project, okay? Um, it is a tutorial day, so you can check out how to get started on the sketch. So you'll have your picture, or you'll have, sorry, you'll have your paper um, that I'll provide you in class. If you're an e-learner, you can do this in your sketchbook, but you can actually start with the template, start mapping out your proportions and your scale, okay? Now, if we move ahead to Tuesday, Tuesday, you are gonna continue drawing, you're gonna continue mapping that out. Basically, everything that you do at the beginning is done in pencil. Okay. Now, a lot of times um, teachers will have you start out in pen. Art teachers will have you start out in pen. Um, I'm going to have you start out with pencil. That's just going to allow us to correct some of our mistakes with, again, size, um, scale, and proportion. So um, the pencil gives you a little bit of forgiveness. Once you have the pencil figured out um, and you have it exactly how you want it, then you can go ahead and put the pen right on top. Okay. Now, afterwards let's just talk about a couple days from now when you do the pen you can actually go back and erase all the pencil that's underneath the pen okay so don't feel like you have to work around it or you can't draw on top of it you're just going to do the outline in pencil everything else is going to be filled in with a pen okay now if you are ahead it says are you ahead you can click the pen demonstration that's gonna specifically, it's a different demonstration than the one you watched last week for the pen activity. This one is gonna be more specific to drawing a realistic landscape using only pens. Okay, now like I said, you can do the outline in pencil, but when you get into the shading and all that, it's gonna be only pen. Cool. So that's gonna be Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Thursday is a work day, so you're gonna continue working. You should be about one fourth. Okay, so about a quarter of your paper should be completed in full value scale using 
um, those techniques that you learned last week. Now for this project, and I know it's explained in the video, but um, you can use one of the techniques, cross-hatching gesture or stippling. You could use two of them, or you could use all three. I personally, I would recommend either using one or two. Sometimes if you get into using all three, it can look a little bit messy, but um, don't, don't feel like you have to limit yourself to just one of those techniques, okay? Um, if you need a little review, there obviously you could just go back to Tuesday or Wednesday, but I also put it right here. Sketchbook number nine is due on Friday, so you can click that sketchbook and check out what the theme is for this week. Um, and again, this green sample link, that's gonna pull you to a uh, Google Photos album where you can actually check out what some of the previous students have done in trimester one, um, trimester two, and I believe I even have a couple from last year too. So um, make sure you take a look at that. You give, give yourself kind of a, a level of expectation and um, looking forward to seeing what you can do. All right, let's have a good week. We have three weeks left, including this week. Okay, so three weeks winding down.